Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today I wanna to answer a question that we get all the time from new lifters, both in the gym and online. What do I do on my days off from lifting? Am I allowed to spin, hike, run, row, uh, ride my bike? Should I just sit on my couch and eat Cheetos? Well, if that's you, we're gonna answer that question today. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. There's two types of people that kind of get involved in strength training or just training in general. And it's either one, the person that has already been working out. They are a workout-aholic. They're from Orange County. They go to spin in the morning, yoga at night, and in the middle of the day, they have a personal trainer. A, a lot of you guys exist, or you bike four days a week, run two, and you know do the Nautilus machines at the YMCA, or whatever. You're already doing something because you know being healthy and active is important. The second type of person that comes into the gym is literally detrained and never does anything. So, how do we approach this question for both of you? Well, the truth of the matter is, you both probably need something on top of your bar barbell training alone. If you were only going to do something three days a week for an hour and that was all you were going to do, yes, I agree. The best thing to do is barbell train with progressive overload and get stronger. However, no matter what camp you're in, you probably would benefit from a little bit of a cardiovascular or movement work on your days off from lifting. Now, one of the variables when it comes to conditioning or cardio or whatever you want to call it is one, are you doing it for sport? Because that's a whole nother topic that we'll cover in another video. Or are you doing it for general health? And also what's your level of advancement? This question most commonly comes from the brand new trainee, literally like the guy that's on his third day of squatting ever in his life and he's like, what should I do tomorrow? Part of it's because he's motivated and part of it's because he has this feeling in the back of his head that you know clearly weightlifting couldn't get him all the benefits that he wanted. So if you're detrained and you know weak and just getting started, just run anyway on your day off or whatever it is you like to do. You wanna go to spin class, go to spin class. You wanna jog, go jog. You wanna go do some other activity, go Go do it because you're actually probably so weak that you're going to be able to lift weights on those other three days anyway and still make progress. Then when you need to make a decision of where do I do this conditioning and how much is when you go to add more weight to the bar and it doesn't work. That doesn't mean it's because you ran three miles yesterday. I'm not saying that. There's a lot of other variables in recovery, but that'll be the first time that it might be worth looking at it and seeing. Before I talk about what type of movements I like for the strength athlete or strength trainee, first let me say this for the more advanced lifter too. Sometimes lifters get so convinced that, you know, well, I got a 500 pound deadlift, so I deadlifted on Tuesday. I can't, you know, do any cardio before I squat on Thursday. And maybe that's true, but also your work capacity is probably through the roof if you've actually gotten strong. And I was there for a long time. I, I wouldn't do anything on my off days because all I cared about was putting more weight on the bar. But then I started kind of pushing that. Hey, can I do 300 kettlebell swings on my day off? What happens if I run two miles? What happens if I go jogging or walking or whatever? And so again, we're gonna talk about what movements I like, but push yourself first. Kind of like that early, early, early novice trainee, we say, hey, do it anyway, see what happens. If you're advanced, man, add in a three mile run if you like to jog on Saturday in between your Friday and Monday workout and see how you feel. Whether you're new or advanced, uh, or where you are, my favorite movements for conditioning or cardio or whatever it is. Number one is definitely going to be hill sprints. I think hill sprints provide a lot of that value. That extra elevation is going to get the heart rate up faster. It's almost all concentric motion and it gets your heart rate up and then you can walk the ridge line and go down and then run the next one up or however you want to do it. I think they're very useful. Number two, the prowler. Very easy, a sled, get behind it, push it down and back, whatever. That's a good one. Three would be the assault bike. Four would be the row machine. All of these things uh, provide value, mostly concentric. What we're not looking for is a bunch of eccentric range of motion that we're not used to. Now, I did that kettlebell video a while ago, and I'm a fan of some kettlebells for conditioning, you know, maybe on days off or on days after you train. But if you go in and do 500 kettlebell swings day one, you're gonna be really sore and it's probably gonna affect your squat the next day. So if you do something with an eccentric range of motion, just understand you may have to build up to that threshold or wherever it is. Whereas if you go out and do the prowler, you may be exhausted, but you're not gonna necessarily feel it from a soreness um, point of view the next time you go to squat in the weight room. So if you're brand new and you wanna jog and your day is off, go jog, come back to me when your squat fails, legitimately fails, not just you racked it because it was hard, 
and then I'll tell you if maybe we need to change something. Like anything else, this is where a coach can be very valuable. However, what I don't want you to do, beginner or intermediate or advanced lifter, is just say, I can never do cardio or conditioning because I'm a weightlifter and I got a big deadlift. Hey, surprise yourself. Go out there and work hard. Not to mention, it's kind of good for you and it's good to challenge yourself. It's just good for you and your human nature and your progress in life. So, hope this video helps. If it does, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.